Hello everyone, welcome to Mad 6 Week 6, which is multi-step problem solving involving whole numbers and decimals. But before we start, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa videos ko. Let's go back with our topic. So we have four steps in problem solving. Let's recall what are those. Step one is to understand. Under understand, we need to know what is asked and we need to know what are the given facts. That is step one. Step two is plan. Know what operation or operations to be used. Then write the number sentence. Step three is to solve. Step four is to check on your answer or look back at your answer. So these are the four steps in problem solving. Let's have an example. Mr. Hernandez earns 30 pesos and 50 centavos per hour as an office clerk. He earns 1 and 50 hundreds times as his regular rate for overtime. His regular work is 40 hours per week. He gets overtime pay if he works more than 40 hours. How much is his total earnings if he works 45 hours in one week? So in this problem, what is asked is total earnings or total earning if he works 45 hours in one week. Magkano yung susweldohin niya kung nakapagtrabaho siya 45 hours sa buong linggo? But before we get the answer for these questions, there are hidden questions. Meron tayong una dapat na sagutan or alamin. The first is, how many hours he work overtime? Ilan yung oras na lumampas dun sa regular working hours niya? And the second hidden question is, how much is his overtime pay? So, magkano ngayon yung bayad sa overtime niya kung lumampas siya doon sa 40 hours per week? And another hidden question here is, how much is his earning for 40 hours? Yung 40 regular hours niya sa isang linggo. So, bago natin masagutan yung 45 hours, ito muna yung mga dapat natin alamin. And then, the given are 30 pesos and 50 centavos per hour. Yan yung rate niya. Then, 1 and 50 hundred times the regular rate for overtime. Then, 45 total hours in a week. Yan yung natrabaho niya. And then, 40 regular working hour. These are the given. And we are asked what operation to be used. So, we have here multiplication, subtraction, and addition. So, now, what... If we have the operations here, what should be the number sentence? So we have here 30 pesos and 50 centavos times 40 plus 30 pesos and 50 centavos times 1 and 50 hundreds times the difference of 45 and 40 equals N. So this is our number sentence. Now, let us solve. So, una natin kunin is his total earnings for his regular 40 hours sa isang linggo. So, yun yung una natin kunin. So, we have ang rate niya is 30 pesos and 50 centavos sa isang oras. Kung sa isang linggo ay nakakapagtrabaho siya ng 40 regular hours magkana yung kanyang susweldohin. We just multiply it by 40. And any number multiplied to zeros is zero. And then we have 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry 2, bring down 0. We have 4 times 2 is 0. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. And then we have 4 times 3 is 
12. Then let us just add. So the answer is 1,220 pesos. That is his earning for 40 hour regular. 40 regular hours in a week. And then let's find out magkano ba yung susweldo niya kapag may yung overtime niya. So kung yung regular niya ay 30 pesos and 50 centavos, kapag daw overtime, that is times 1 and 50 hundreds. So we have the product is kapag kinuha natin so we have 45 pesos and 75 centavos yan yung kanyang overtime pay sa isang oras tapos ito naman yung 1,220 pesos yan yung kanyang bayad sa 40 regular hours ngayon ang overtime niya ay ilang oras ba dahil nakapagtrabaho siya ng 45 hours sumobra siya ng 5 hours, kunin natin ngayon kung magkano yung earnings niya do sa overtime na 5 hours. So, we have 45 pesos and 75 centavos times 5 dahil limang oras yung overtime niya. So, he gets 228 pesos and 75 centavos for his overtime in 5 hours. So, ngayon ang tinatanong natin is how much is total earnings for 45 hours in one week? So, we have 1,220 pesos plus 228 pesos and 75 centavos. The answer is, this is for, the answer is 1,448 pesos and 75 centavos. So, ito yung earnings of 40 hours. Ito naman yung earnings sa overtime niya na 5 hours. So, itong sagot natin will be his total earnings in 45 hours. So, this is the answer for our example problem. In this problem, we ask how much is his total earning if he works 45 hours in one week? So, ito yung natrabaho niya. But, his regular work is only 40 hours per week. Ibig sabihin, sumobra siya na 5 hours. Yung 5 hours, yun yung tinatawag nating over time. Over time work niya. So, para masolve natin itong problem na to, we need to get first how much he earns in a week which is 28 pesos and 50 centavos sa isang oras kunin mo sa loob ng isang linggo nakapagtrabaho siya ng 40 hours so kukunin natin yung sagot na yan, which is multiply mo lang and then we need to solve for the 5 hours overtime pay so kapag overtime Hindi ito ang kanyang susweldohin. Ang susweldohin niya is 1 and 75 hundreds times itong regular pay niya, 28 pesos and 50 centavos para makuha mo yung isang oras na overtime. E limang oras yung overtime niya. So, ita times mo siya sa 5 hours pa para makuha mo yung overtime pay niya. Again. So, itong dalawang ito, 1 and 75 hundreds times 28 and 50, 28 pesos and 50 centavos, ito yung bayad sa overtime sa isang oras. E ngayon, dun sa problem natin, limang oras yung overtime niya, kaya times 5. So, ito ang gagawin mo ngayon. 1.75 times 28.50 times 5 para makuha mo yung earnings niya sa 5 hours na overtime. And then, itong una, 28 pesos and 50 centavos times 40. Yung sagot dyan, 
yun yung magiging sagot dito sa 40 hours per week niya. That is his regular earning. So, pag nakuha mo yung sagot dito, at sagot dito, ia-add mo lang siya para makuha mo yung total earning niya in 45 hours in one week. So, ayun po ang magiging sagot. So, lagyan natin na number sentence. The number sentence is 28 pesos and 50 centavos times 40. That is regular rate. Plus, 1 and 75 hundreds times 28 pesos and 50 centavos times 5 equals N. So, ito yung pinaka number sentence niya. So, dahil nakaparentesis itong dalawang ito, yun ang uunahin mo bago mo i-add yung sagot dun sa dalawang parentheses. Alright. Now, let's go with uh, the next problem. The next problem is Lucy earns 1,525 pesos a week. She sets aside 15% of this for savings. How much does she does how much does she save in a year? There is a hint here. One year is equal to 52 weeks. So Lucy lagi siya nagsi-save. So ito muna yung kanyang earnings sa isang linggo which is 1,525. Ang itinatabi niya ay 15%. 15% lang nito sa isang linggo. Malaki na din, di ba? So ngayon, ang tinatanong dito, magkano daw yun na save niya sa isang buong taon? So ngayon, kunin muna natin, ano ba yung 15% nito? You need to get first the 15% of 1,525 times 15%. Ibig sabihin, yun yung naitatabi niya sa isang linggo. One week lang. E sa loob ng isang taon, there are 52 weeks. So, ayan. Para makuha mo yung savings niya sa buong taon, multiply mo sa 52 kasi there are 52 weeks in a year. So, first, Siyempre, hindi mo pwedeng i-multiply na naka-percent yan. I-change mo siya into decimal. Which is equal to 15 hundredths times 52 equals N. So, ayan lang para makuha niyo yung sagot dito sa ating problem number 2. So, kung nakuha yung sagot na yan, that is his total savings in a year. Or the amount of money she saved in a year. Next, we have problem number three. Mrs. Briones has a monthly pay of 50000 and the withholding tax deducted from her monthly salary is 5,275 pesos and 75 centavos. What is the actual pay she received in a year? So, ibig sabihin, sa isang buwan, ang kinikita ni Mrs. Briones ay 50000 so, meron siyang binabawas, kaya deducted, may binabawas na withholding tax. At ang ibinabawas sa kanya ay ito, 5,275 pesos and 75 centavos na binabawas yan dito sa kanyang monthly pay or monthly salary. 
Ayun, nung tinatanong, what is the actual pay she received in a year? So, paano kaya yun? So, we have, yung earnings niya is 50,000. Ima-minus mo, kaya nga deducted. Minus 5,000. Minus 5,275 pesos and 50 centavos. Ang pangit ng sulat ni ma'am. So, we have 50,000 minus 5,275 pesos and 75 centavos. Ima-minus mo. Para makuha mo yung isang buwan na kanyang kita. That is for one month. And then, ang tinatanong, what is his actual pay in a year? So, ito times mo siya sa 12 kasi there are 12 months in a year. Para masolve mo itong problem na ito. Thank you.